I made just under $300,000 with these two stores. And today's video, we're gonna be jumping into how much of that was actually profit. Yes, you heard me right. Today we're gonna to be going into my actual profit and loss statements for these two companies. And I'm gonna show you the actual breakdown of where all of my expenses were, where all of my revenue came in from. And you'll be able to see realistically what a $300,000 revenue Shopify store looks like. This store right here is an organic dropshipping store on TikTok. And this store right here, I scaled up using Facebook ads last year. So I'm gonna show you kind of both sides of the spectrum. One, no paid ads at all, just a free organic TikTok store. And one, a store that I dumped like 70, 80 grand into with ads. And I'm gonna explain how you can do the same. But before we get into it, as always, I'm gonna show you what my Shopify store has done this month as we're coming to a close. So I'm super proud of it. This is my TikTok store, completely organic. And for the month of August, we have done just over $25,000, $25,578 in revenue on my TikTok store, completely organic. It's absolutely amazing. And today, this will be one of the stores we get into. I'll show you the profit and loss statement and just how much of that was actual profit for the month. And as a quick reminder, I do free one-on-one -on -one consultation calls after every video. So if you're interested in getting one, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll pick one of you randomly within the next 72 hours. And also, last plug, I swear, but if you didn't know, I have a Discord community called e-commerce family that's growing super fast right now. I offer a mentorship in there as well, and it's just full of like-minded individuals interested in dropshipping and e-com in general. So make sure to join that link in the description. But with that being said, let's get into it. We're gonna hop onto my computer and I'm gonna show you the profit and loss statements for these two stores. What's up guys, welcome to my desk. Let's hop into some P&Ls right now. Okay, so we're gonna start off with my the first store, which is a dropshipping store that was run off of Facebook ads. Back in about 2021, I believe, was our big year. And we're gonna hop into all of the analytics here, so bear with me. In 2021, we did $165,000 in sales with marketing costs of, of just under 77,000, cost of goods of 43,000 with net profit of $41,228. And believe it or not, this store actually ran for one month only. As you can see right here, uh, we started really at like January 1st-ish, January 3rd. And we ran ads up until February 19th. From January 3rd to February 19th, I was running this store and was able to pull off $165,000 in revenue, which is insane. It was probably one of the coolest months of my life. <laughs> and that was all thanks to a winning ad campaign on Facebook. Of course, Facebook now, like I've talked about in other videos of mine, has really changed ever since the iOS 14 update came. And it is really not something that I would recommend starting an ad campaign on unless you're okay with a big budget. I'm talking maybe anywhere from 500 to thousand dollars just to test a product. I would recommend if you're wanting to go the ad route starting on a platform like TikTok. A lot of people take these numbers and they're ready and eager to flash the $165,000 in revenue, claiming that they are now filthy rich and they were self-made millionaires. And uh, it's all thanks to their Shopify store and look at this number of how much revenue I've done. That you'll see everywhere and you have seen everywhere on the internet. But in reality, there are costs in order to get that 165,000. Very, very, very rarely, pretty much never can you get a store to this level without spending money on it. And I'll explain what that looks like and what that means with the TikTok organic store too, because you'd think that that would just be completely free as well. But it's not. Uh, with my Facebook ad campaign, I spent $76,690. And this was over time. A lot of people see this number and they think to themselves like, holy crap, Brandon, you had like $76,000 just sitting in your bank account ready to spend. No, this was reinvested profits. 
As you make sales every day, Shopify deposits money into your bank account and you'll use that money to obviously pay for the product that you're shipping out and paying for new ads to continue your ad campaigns day after day. So that's how I was able to scale to such a high number of ad spend. It was just by reinvesting my profits and all of the revenue that was coming in. Cost of goods sold, this is extremely important and this is why I can accredit my store being so profitable in just one month time making $40,000. It was thanks to my cheap cost of goods. I was able to sell this product for about four times more than I was paying for. Do you notice that? I made 165,000 while only spending about $40,000. In my PL system, I like to highball my numbers. So my cost of goods is actually a little bit less than that, but I like reporting that I make less just so I'm not overly optimistic because I do that to myself all the time. So I spent about $40,000 on cost of goods and made 165. So if you calculate that, it comes out to about 3.75, four times return or a multiple of what I was spending. So for example, if you found a product on AliExpress that costs you $12, and I'm not saying $12 like listing price, I'm saying you just checked out, you paid for the taxes, you paid for the shipping, and it costs you in total $12. If you can sell that for four times that cost, like what I did with this store, $48. So if you can sell a $12 item for $48, that means you're giving yourself $36 to play with in order to stay profitable on the store, which is so crucial, especially when you're running ads. You need to make sure that you have fat margins, like as big as you can possibly get. You need to find a product that is cheap, but has high perceived value. Something that you can order for very little dollars, but sell for very many dollars. <laughs> High perceived value. Someone has to be able to look at the product and believe the price tag that's on it. Believe that that's fair. So in this case, although I spent $43,000 in cost of goods, 70, almost $77,000 in marketing costs, I was still able to profit $41,000 in just one month. I guess a little over, month and a half from January 3rd to February 18th. And if you're wondering what these, these big spikes are right here, I had to uh, change what ad account was linked to this PL system. So I had to uh, go in and add how much marketing costs I spent for that this whole year. Now, if we look down here, we can see some more information, discount codes. I really didn't offer a discount at all on this store. I'm not even sure <laughs> where those codes came from. Maybe I ran a discount for like a week or so, or maybe a day. Refunds, I lost $4,000 on refunds, guys. You gotta make sure that your products are high quality. Shipping times are good. You don't want upset customers. Taxes is not shown here. I actually had to pay about six to $8,000 that next tax season. So keep that in mind. In my last video, I encourage you to take out 30% of all profits and just keep them stored away in a bank account ready for tax season because realistically you'll probably have to pay around 10 percent 20 percent maximum but you want to save 30 percent just in case if you have too much congratulations you just made a bonus you get to keep the rest operating expenses are also important obviously for the store at this scale you get some insane amounts of customer support inquiries i was getting about at least 100 inquiries per day. I'm talking emails, live chats, DMs, text messages. We had like a texting support line on this store and I had to hire customer support for that because there was no way I was putting myself through that hell of doing customer support all day. So I hired like a customer support team. I hired other virtual assistants for order fulfillment and and a lot of other miscellaneous costs added up to about $3,286. Now, moving on to the next store. This store is my TikTok store. This store is completely grown organically on TikTok just by posting TikToks one to three times per day. Uh, the PL system is a little delayed here. It's actually about, I think, a little over 110,000. Uh, here it's showing 101, but we'll dive into it. We have total sales of 101,745, marketing costs of 2,146. And I know you're saying to yourself, wait, 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 hold up. 
this is an organic store on TikTok, Brandon. Why do you have $2,000 in marketing costs? <laughs> and the reason for that is once I started becoming successful on TikTok, I wanted to capture as many customers as I possibly could. And I knew I was leaving a lot of customers on the table on different platforms. So I knew that my brand was being seen on TikTok and possibly was being searched on other platforms such as Google. If someone sees my TikTok, remembers my brand name, and then Google searches me, I wanted to make sure that I was capturing all of those guys. So I created a few Google search campaigns at a very low budget just to capture all of those people that actually search my brand name. And now thankfully, when they search me, they'll see my ad and then I just organically, thanks to SEO, will pop up on top regardless. But before, I wanted to make sure that my name popped up first every single time. And thanks to that, um, I've spent $2,000 on ads on, on Google ads, but it has been very profitable and very worthwhile. So that's something to think about. If your brand starts becoming notable on TikTok, or even if other brands are becoming notable and you wanna take their extra traffic that they're not scooping up on Google, Make a Google ad campaign, a search campaign, scoop up those extra customers, baby. Scoop them up. Cost of goods for the store is about 55,500. That's a nice even number, 55500. Which again, I think this is actually very high bald. I think it's closer to like 47, $48,000, um, maybe even less than that but I like to highball my numbers again to not get my hopes up too much and see this pretty number that actually isn't a pretty number in my bank account. And I knew if you can tell the difference between this store and my last store, my last store, again, I was running Facebook ads on that, so I needed a huge margin. I knew with this store, I didn't need a big margin because I wasn't paying for ads. So I was just promoting it organically for free on TikTok, which meant that if my product costed me $12, I could sell it for 25, only like two times more than what I'm buying. And I would still make a decent profit if one video goes viral, making like what, 10, 20 grand in sales, about half of that is profit just from one video. And total profit for the store after a hundred and five hundred and ten thousand dollars is 44,000 plus. <laughs> I would say it's probably closer to 50 or above 50,000 right now because we're at 110, but um, that's what it's done. And again, this was completely on TikTok. I started this store, as you can see, in November of last year. And um, it hasn't been a full year yet. And I have been so incredibly happy with the performance. And since I showed you at the beginning of the video, August revenue of $25,000, I would love to show you how much money of that was profit. Okay, so as you can see here, guys, this store has done incredible for the month of August, only on TikTok, it's insane. $25,606 in sales, Google ads of just under $600, cost of goods, 12,586. Notice that how that's just under half of my revenue. Keep that in mind for a drop shipping store on TikTok. You don't need to sell it for that much of a multiple to make profit and with a net profit of $12,427. Again, just in one month, $12,000. That's pretty decent. And again, I like to highball all of my numbers a lot. I round up a lot on my P&Ls in a bad way, like negatively I round up, um, I round up my costs. So I actually made probably closer to 14 or $15,000 this month. Um, but again, I don't like to be too optimistic or hopeful when it comes to P&Ls. As you can see, I gave away, I do run some discount code campaigns for my followers on TikTok. So I gave out $1,609 of discounts, had to refund 813, unfortunately. Taxes, again, like I said, will be, I'm gonna pull out about 30% of this 12,000 number. And that was it, we're ending up with a total profit margin, net margin after all of my expenses of about 49%. Again, it's probably a little higher, closer to 55, but for one month making $12,000, 50% profit margins, that's pretty insane. For the cost of goods, I actually include some employee costs in this. I roll them all together because it makes my system a little easier to work with, although I should probably organize it better and put it down in operating expenses. I actually do pay for a few employees with this store. I pay for a full team of customer support agents, virtual assistants that live in the Philippines. They work for me 24 seven. So my store has constant customer support at any minute of the day. 
and I pay them about $500 or $600 a month in order to do that for me. And I pay for another VA. She takes all of my TikTok videos that, that are posted and posts them to every other short form platform out there. I pay her $200. She posts my TikToks to Snapchat, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, Pinterest Idea Pins, and so much more. Literally, if you can think of a short form content platform, she's posting it there every single day, three times a day, which is amazing value and drives so much more traffic to my store. And I pay her about $200 every single month to do that. And lastly, I have a full-time content creator that is constantly making TikTok videos with my products and she's killing it, she does amazing. And I actually pay her 20% of all revenue she generates for the store, which a lot of people will say, that's ridiculous, how can you give up that much money? But I respond saying, hey, I'm not paying for ads and she's working her butt off supplying all of the orders for me. I'm just sitting here and watching the orders come in. I don't even have to pick up my product to record anymore and I am so grateful. All right guys, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you like crazy. A lot of you aren't subscribed, about 90% of my viewers aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you're watching this and you've made it to the end, why not hit the subscribe button? I'll try to add as much value as I can day after day on this channel. Now you know exactly, realistically, how much money you can make Shopify dropshipping on platforms such as TikTok or Facebook ads. If I've done it, truly, truly, you can do it yourself because two years ago, three years ago, I was just exactly where you are, watching YouTube videos, trying to learn how to do this thing called dropshipping. So again, thanks for watching. Join the Discord. Comment below to win a free consultation call with me. See you guys, peace.